Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. If we only lived this way, if we only really lived this way, thought this way, felt this way, what way is that are you speaking of, Kendra? (laughs) Well, let me tell you, it's in the first reading today. Holy moly. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 through 8. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone. For kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to our God, our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this, I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place The men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. Wow. Just if we all live that way, if we all prayed our supplications, our petitions, and thanksgivings for everyone and ourselves, For the kings and all who are in in authority, right? Praying for leaders. That we can lead a tranquil life. Are you thinking that your life is tranquil right now? I'm sure the word tranquil probably never even entered your mind. Oh yes, I am living a tranquil life. I mean, what? That's insane. I don't know if I would use the word tranquil. I do use peaceful. And I'd say those two are fairly interchangeable. But if you keep going on, it's because he knows that there's one God and Jesus himself who gave himself as a ransom for all of us. And he knows that he was chosen and saved from the direction in which he was going where he was leading people to be killed and martyred for their Christian beliefs. And then at the end, he just says, you know, it's just my wish that that men should pray lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. And I think that goes, I'm just, I'm not going to get into the rest 
which is very rich. Go please read yourself. The readings for today, if you haven't already, they are beautiful, 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 beautiful. And if we would just reach out our hands to each other, getting coffee, getting coffee. Oh, <clears throat> so it's season changes here. It's another thing I wanted to talk about. It's the middle of September. And for me, where I live, it's going to start to hopefully turn crisper, the air get cooler, and everything get a little more, I don't know, less humid. Let's say that. And I'm looking forward to it, and it's in that stage. It's getting dark, or it's getting light, I should say, in the morning, much later, and it's getting dark much earlier so the days are getting shorter and you can feel it i have that effect i don't know if it's the seasonal affective disorder the the true quote unquote name that it's been given but i do get a little bit more tired especially when we hit like winter winter when five o'clock rolls around and it's dark out and five o'clock in the morning it's still dark out, like when my husband would say, going to work and coming home from work in the dark is no fun, and I get that completely. And that's where we're headed into the fall, but fall is my favorite time of the year. And I know there are people that listen to this in Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore, and in the UK, <clears throat> and you're all experiencing a seasonal change, but it may not be into fall, might be into something else. And it's wonderful to just experience it, f smell the new smells. I'm looking forward to smelling the leaves change off of the trees and for the trees just to be bare with all their flaws, all the dead, you know, branches and bearing itself for the winter. I mean, we got some pretty harsh winters here. And then we do have plenty of evergreen trees, like the Christmas trees that you're familiar with, that stay green all year long, so it's nice we still have that. And I'm sure we'll feed the bird feeder, which will then bring in the deer and the turkeys and all of the wildlife, which is wonderful, plus the birds. Got some new binoculars that were on sale. <laughs> My uh, husband was like, okay, we'll get you your own pair because I keep grabbing his out of his hunting bag. I'm like, I let, you know, I want to I look at the squirrels. I want to look at them up close. And so it's pretty exciting. So what about the season that is coming and changing for you, are you excited about? What can you dive into? I know like <laughs> some people go crazy with the pumpkin spice stuff around this time of the year. I know that there will probably be Christmas celebration on TV and commercials and stuff coming soon. I've already seen Halloween at the stores, it's insane how ahead of the game everyone out there in the world, if you will, are really are living. We should be living in today, which is September, a beautiful, a beautiful month, beautiful apple month, you know, maybe go support a local farm stand, give them your business. Today, if you have to go out and get anything, support local and dive in, light a candle. I'm looking at this one right now. It's a, it's a pumpkin, pumpkin cinnamon spice and it smells wonderful. And I'm thinking, all right, maybe that gets lit today. I don't know. We'll see where God takes me after this podcast. <laughs> okay. But think 
about your life as seasons. So if you're struggling with something right now, think of it as a season. And seasons don't have to last three months, four months. My husband says the season of winter where we live is like six months. And I don't think it is, by the way. It is long, but not that long. But if you're in a moment of of almost despair, or you're really struggling with hope and joy in your life, then please offer it to the Lord. Deliver those spirits. Fight the fight, right? I'm not saying it's always going to be evil, but why not cast out those spirits if you are in the midst of feeling anxious and worried and scared, afraid? Maybe you're sick or ill and you're in pain or you've got others who are. So reach out to God, Lord, please help me. I give my feelings, my worry to you because I know that with you, everything is lighter, everything is easier, everything is more peaceful. And I humbly ask you, Lord, to take this pressure off of me to help release my shoulders, to have my body relax. Breathe you in, Lord, and the Holy Spirit. Breathe in deep. Breathe out any tension. Let your bones crack. Move your head side to side. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come into us. Fill us with your zeal for life, your love for others and ourselves. And help us see you, hear you, and experience you today. I love you all. Have a blessed and inspired day.